Hey everyone, and welcome back to All New Nerds. We appreciate you clicking on the video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video. So, this is going to be a kind of three-in-one review. Um, these just came today. Super excited. They um, haven't been officially out yet. I believe the date was February 3rd, um, and I luckily got them from GameStop early. Um, so I'm really excited. I know a lot of people, a lot of collectors have them already, but... Um, I just got mine today, so at the time of this recording, just got mine today, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this. So um, we're gonna do yeah, three and one, um, and here I'm gonna show you guys. So we have the Black Series, the Mandalorian Quill, looking great. I can't believe that's this is actually real. We have a Black Series Quill, rest in peace Quill. Um, and then we have the Black Series Grief Karga from season one, looks great. And of course, last but not least, the Black Series, Moff Gideon. So these are three fan favorites, including mine. Um, these are like my, some of my favorite characters from The Mandalorian. And I'm really excited to add them to the shelf, um, to the collection and all that. So uh, this is, yeah, what a great wave. Um, Hasbro definitely, even just by looking at them right now, like they definitely killed them. All the faces look uh, like great. Uh, um, Okay, yeah, anyways, I'm gushing over them, but um, here, let's uh, get into the box design. Um, so it's the same box, um, the, the the newer box that Hasbro's been doing for the Black Series line. Um, so they all look great, and they have, since they're all part of the same line for the Mandalorian, they have the uh, kind of color-coded to the Mandalorian, which is like this bron bronzish orange color, whatever you want to call it. I guess it's kind of orange, but... Um, yeah, so, um, we're gonna, yeah, so let's show the side art. Here is the side art. Um, I really hope Hasbro makes a poster of all this one day, like, for each line. Um, because I would definitely buy that, because I love the side art. Back it up a little bit here. Um, yeah, so, uh, it looks great. So you can see Grief Karga there, uh, Carl Weathers. Got the, some of the Mandalorians from episode three from last season. Then we got Queel um, with Mando and him on some blurgs. And then Moff Gideon's got a TIE Fighter above him. So, yeah, this is just these are the coolest posters ever. I'm really happy to... Uh, I really hope they, they make a poster of this. Um, so, yeah, moving on to that, we'll just... Um, it's all the same. It's got the same picture as it is on the side art um, with the read-up. I'll read up the Grief Cargo one real quick. Um, so, his goes, As an agent of the Bounty Hunters Guild, Grief Cargo secures Bounty Hunters in pursuit of valuable and rare... Uh, quarries in the galaxy so pretty cool um yeah it's the same design uh as i'm just gonna sh show all that stuff because it's literally the same um on all the rest of the boxes but moving on to quill for the back same picture uh quills goes a vapor farmer on arvilla 7 quill came to seek peace in an out-of-the-way world which is now being trespassed upon by criminals and mercenaries he has worked a lifetime to be free of servitude and offers valuable skills for those willing to meet his price. Pretty cool. Yeah, these read-ups are all are really cool on the back, the little bios. Uh, so the Moff Gideon one, uh, of course, the picture. And uh, he goes, Imperial Moff Gideon is fiercely determined to capture a specific quarry. Clever and formidable, Gideon values power and knowledge. So, pretty awesome. Um, and the numbers for this, this is six in the line. Quill is seven in the line, and Moff Gideon is eight in the line. So, um, I think that's all the box stuff out of the way. Let's get in. I'm going to open these up. Um, and if you do get these or get any of these new boxes, be sure to open them from the bottom. I find that is the best way to do it um, so you don't, like, ruin the box. So, I know some collectors, some collectors do care and some don't, but I would just, yeah, recommend that. So, uh, yeah, let me just open these up, and we'll get right back into the review. All right, here are the figures out of the packaging. We have Grief Karga, Queel, and Moff Gideon. Um, so this is this is pretty cool. There, um, they're really good. Just off the bat, they look really great. And um, like yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty blown away. Um, by just looking at them right now, like this is just like really cool. Um, but I'm gonna do a little bit of an individual review on each. Um, we're gonna kind of go left to right, and then we'll bring it back um towards the end, and uh, I'll give you my final thoughts on all of them and uh. Yeah, so let's start with Grief Karga. So, Grief Karga, uh, he, first off, he looks looks great. This is obviously the look from Season 1. Um, I really hope Black Series um, and Hasbro goes uh, down the line and does a Season 2 look, because um, that look is 
uh, I prefer that look to Grief Cargo much more than this one, but still, I am I am super happy that we have this one. Um, definitely, it'll round out the season one uh, crew um, from Mando, so that's pretty cool. Um, so first off, the head sculpt um, and the the face printing tech, the focus. Look at that head sculpt. I mean, it's it, it's it's pretty accurate. I'm gonna say I I, I can totally see Carl Weathers in there. Um, a lot of people were worried, and I was worried too, about the pictures um, that Hasbro initially released of all uh, the three figures. Um, some of the skin tones looked a little off, and some of the face just didn't look right. Um, but I can say, now having them in hand, that they look, uh, they all look great. Not just, not just, uh, Grief Cargy here. Um, they all do. So, he, yeah, has a season one look. Um, he only comes with two pistols, and you can luckily, they, you have two holsters. Um, so, you know, no extra accessories laying around. Um, yeah, so I'll take out these pistols so get a better look at them. Oh. Okay. So. There is his two pistols. Um, so they're the same. They're literally the same thing. Um, it's just some dark gray plastic with a little bit of brown paint uh, towards the grip. Um, the sculpt is pretty cool, though, I will say. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, it's pretty basic, but I mean, it, I his guns weren't too memorable or anything. But um, yeah, they look great. I mean, I'm, I'm totally happy that, uh, you know, that's kind of goes with Grief Cargo. So I'm glad that he has them. Um, yeah, so that again, that's that's it for the accessories. Um, and yeah, let's do the articulation real quick. Um, so he's got, his head can go that far, which is pretty great. Neck that far, obviously can turn. Um, he's got, his arms can go out this far. It's a little more hindered, um, with this, like, jacket piece here, but luckily it, it's, uh, not attached to the figure totally, so you could get a little bit of wiggle room, so you can get that arm up a little bit more, but, um, yeah, so that... Looks, looks, that's good. Um, so it's single jointed, but it goes a little past 90. Um, so on this hand, it's a side to side swivel. You can turn on um, on this. It's the regular up and down hinge. Ooh, oh no, it's actually, I'm sorry. It's a side to side as well. Okay. So it goes like that and then it turns obviously. Um, so yeah. Um, and then he has a diaphragm joint. Here can turn. Um, he doesn't crunch too well. Goes back a good amount. That's pretty good. Um, and the legs, he can do the splits pretty really well actually. And the holsters are luckily uh, um, stay on there pretty good. Um, they're just attached uh, to the belt, and then there's loops on his legs. He has thigh thigh cut, so thigh swivel there. Um, a single joint, a single jointed uh, knees actually, which is but they go. Um, a little, yeah, I would say that's just 90, 90 degrees. Can't kick his butt or anything. Um, but yeah, no boot rotation, but he does have up and down hinge for the boot and then ankle pivot. So, um, yeah, I mean, nothing like too crazy. I mean, the single joint, single jointed, uh, arms, uh, elbows work for him, um, pretty well. I mean, he can do all the poses you really want for a grief cargo figure, so. Um, yeah, overall, this this guy, he looks fantastic, and I'm uh, super happy to add him to the collection. So uh, next, we'll move on to Queel. All right, for Queel, um, yeah, again, he looks so good. Um, super accurate to the show. They're, they've they killed it with the head sculpts lately, especially in the Mandalorian line. Um, so there's a better look at the head. Um, looks great. Actually, so um, for accessories, he comes with his blaster here. Um, it's got a little strap on it. Um, and just kind of put it on his shoulder, tuck it underneath the scarf here, and uh, yeah, he looks great like that. And, and he can hold it too with his um, left uh, trigger finger there, um, which looks great. So, um, also, uh, kind of a surprise, I wasn't aware of this until I started uh, messing around with it. The helmet can actually come off, so you can see what Queer looks like without a uh, his helmet on. And yeah, he's just a bald ugnot, so. Um, you know, pretty cool, <laughs> pretty cool to see, I guess, yeah, so you can see his little Ugnaught ears, and, um, yeah, the, the head is, that is so good, it, I, 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 yeah, it looks amazing, um, so the scarf, um, so I think 
the colors, I can't remember to the actual show. Um, I think it, his suit is a little, maybe a little dirtied up a little bit more, but um, that's really the only complaint I have. Otherwise, this is, yeah, great figure. Um, yeah, let's get into articulation real quick. Um, his head can go up that far. So good for a little guy, so he can like make eye contact with most um, regular 6-inch Black Series. He can go down that much, so kind of just, yeah, not, not too much. Um, obviously, he can turn his head. Uh, uh, yeah, he's, um, he's got really good articulation there, too. Um, his arms can go out ooh, about that far. Yeah, about that far. Um, single jointed elbow. Trying to, yeah, single jointed elbow. Um, a little, a uh, bit before 90 degrees, that's okay. Um, is yeah so his hands can obviously swivel and it's the up and down hinge and post the side to side uh hinge that comes with uh grief cargo so that's the same on the other hand um and then another diaphragm joint uh and this is a little hindered due to the backpack and the scarf piece which is one connected piece um i can't seem to oh, oh there we go never mind it was a little stuck but i got it so there we go so yeah that can turn um he can't crunch like at all but, um, yeah, I mean, he can't really go back because of this uh, backpack piece again. Um, but, yeah, so his splits, he can do splits pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to put Quill in splits, so I guess no worries there. Um, single jointed uh, knees again on these figures. Um, when the Black Series is usually double jointed for the legs at least. Uh, so this is a little bit of a surprise, but um, still surprise to be sure, but a welcomed one, yeah. Um, so yeah, that goes a little bit past 90, so that's good. Um, an up and down hinge for the boot, and then obviously a, uh, an ankle pivot. Um, it's a tiny bit hindered by this little uh, part here, this little, uh, I don't know what you call it, like the, the little end of the boot here. It hinders it a little bit, but yeah, you should be able to get um, in all the good poses that you need. Uh, so no worries there. So yeah, um, overall, Quill looks like super accurate to the show. Um, the head, especially the head sculpt. Um, they've killed it with the head sculpts, and um, yeah, this is just like this is Quill. And um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't expecting anything too crazy with accessories. Would have actually liked him to be a deluxe figure and ha come with a blurg, because you know he's always riding a blurg. So that would have been cool. That's really my only complaint. Um, but besides anything with the figure, it, it, it's, it's really great. So, um, yeah, so now we're going to move on to Moff Gideon. All right. And the final figure of the, uh, wave or, or what I'm reviewing here, um, is Moff Gideon. So this is the most hype figure. Um, this is my most hype figure for this wave. Uh, I am a huge fan of Moff Gideon. He was great in the show. Um, he's a great villain and, uh, Jean-Claude Esposito kills it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was so hyped to have this figure, and also having the Darksaber. This is the first time that the Black Series has had the Darksaber, so I've been swapping that a little bit with other characters, um, and uh, other figures, so I will show some of those off at the end. Um, but yeah, so he is my most hyped one, but kind of my most disappointed, I guess you could say. Um, and that's in regards to the cape. I'll show the cape. Um, so, he's standing upright, it stays on, but then, yeah, it... Wow, okay, that's, yeah. It's um, a heavy plastic. Um, if you bump the figure, this is going to fall right off, no matter how much, how far you push it in. Uh, believe me, I've tried multiple times. It just does not work. It could just be mine, but it seems like a lot of people are having this issue. Um, yeah, this peg isn't very good. I don't know. Um, it's also a heavy plastic cape. Um could have probably managed to do a soft one or or a, or a cloth one, um, but yeah. So I'm gonna actually move this to the side because it's just gonna keep falling off as I'm messing around with this guy. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the accessories first. Um, so here is the dark saber, and this was actually really exciting to actually have this um, in six inch scale for the Black Series line. Um, you can port this out. I've had so many issues with Black Series lightsabers by pulling the pulling the blades out and then the peg breaking and not being able to glue it back on. So I'm actually not going to do that, but you can do that with this. 
um, the hilt um, it's not painted or anything um, there is some detail um, you can see there so it looks pretty cool um, the blade is pretty cool it's just this clear piece of plastic with uh, a black uh, painted part on top of it on both sides obviously representing the black and white contrast of the Darksaber so there's that he also comes with his little pistol that you can holster on his side there um so there oop. there is the pistol yeah it's cool it's got a little scope on it um and you can yeah again you can just pour it right into his holster there so the head sculpt um it looks great this is one of the figures that i was worried about the face not looking too great um and having it in hand i can say it looks great and hopefully you can tell uh, it looks pretty great. It looks like Giancarlo Esposito to me. And, um, yeah. So, I guess we'll do the artic articulation real quick. Um, let's do... So, this head doesn't go up too far, to be honest. Um, which is, I guess, is fine. Um, he can go down a little bit. Yeah, so pretty hindered in the up and down part, uh, sadly. But, so you can turn his head... Uh, yeah, not yeah, not much. Um, so what actually is pretty good about this figure is the uh is the shoulder part. So the shoulders are a separate piece. The shoulder armor, as you can see, it's a separate piece. Um, and I'm gonna push it up, and you can see how the shoulder piece is a soft rubber, so it folds over the armor chest piece, and um doesn't kind of break or anything or and it falls right back into place. So it doesn't warp. Um, probably if you had it posed where his arm is like this or something, it might stay like that if you have it for like a super long period of time, like on a shelf or something. Um, but if you just have it like that, it should have it like quick. I don't know the exact time, but you know, um, it should fall right back into place. So that's really cool. Um, and the arms are single jointed and can go a little past 90. So it's pretty good. Um, so you got a trigger, trigger finger on this hand with a side swivel, and then it can spin. Uh, this arm, the hand, yeah, is an up and down hinge, and it can spin. This is like the dark saber hand. This is like the pistol hand. So um, they're different molds for um, both weapons. So you have a joint here. Um, it actually can crunch a good amount. I think this is the best out of all three and back. Oh, without the, with, with the cape on, you probably can't get too much movement at, at all. You kind of have to put him in a vanilla pose if you really want the cape on. Um, or close to a vanilla pose. It's it's pretty hard to uh, get that to stay. But anyways, um, so yeah, you know, there's no waist swivel or anything. Um, the legs can go out pretty far as you can do the splits pretty good. Um, you can kick out that far um so and again with the single jointed uh knees um that can go 90 degrees so that's that's a new thing or a newer thing i feel like i don't know i'm trying to trying to think but i was pretty surprised by that but anyways um it, but it looks it works though because it hinder it, it it uh saves a lot of the detail and does, isn't like obvious that there's a joint there so i have no complaints there um it does have a uh, thigh cut and no boot cut. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No boot cut, but they're just high, uh, boots. Um, and you can go down and up and a swivel ankle pivot. Um, yeah, so the articulation's there with this figure. Um, he looks great. The cape is pretty disappointing. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get all these back these figures back and um we'll finish up the review all right so quickly before we go back to the figures uh, i just want to show off a couple figures with the dark saber um here's din the new wielder of the dark saber so he looks sick um and yeah all right and here's darth maul um with the dark saber so um yeah it looks really cool actually this is the phantom menace one um actually the archive one uh, also, Hasbro, please make a Mandalore Maul from the Clone Wars. Like, this is a figure that we definitely need. And, um, yeah, include the Darksaber, too. We'll have two Darksabers, so that'd be pretty cool. But, yeah, let's move on to uh, wrapping this video up. 
All right, here are all the figures. I uh, just wanted to throw in the best car Mando, um, just for a little bit more scale. Um, so they do range in scale. Obviously, Quill's short. Uh, you know, Carl is just a tall guy, so obviously Grief Carga is taller. He's about he's a little taller than Mando, which makes sense. Uh, Moff Gain's a little shorter, which I think is correct. Um, but anyways, I, I'm yeah, I'm pretty blown away with these figures. All three of them, they um are figures that uh, definitely wanted to add to the shelf, especially the Mandalorian shelf. Um, Hasbro's been pushing out those figures in the past couple mo uh, past few months, so it's been cool to uh, build that shelf. And uh, man, yeah, I uh, I love all three of these figures, and um, I would definitely recommend these all three of them. Pick them up if you really love the Mandalorian, if you love Black Series, um, and also just the Dark Saber. Haven't even if you want to get Moff Gideon, Dark Saber, awesome. Grief Karga, Quill, they're they're all great. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it if you made it this far. Um, I'm trying to get better with these reviews. Um, hopefully you guys like them. So leave a like so I know uh, that you guys enjoy these videos. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, take care, everybody. And we will see you in the next one.